Good evening, guys. David Hoffman here from David's. Been here from beautiful Esfahan, Iran, and with my friend, Mr. Taster. Hey. Wow, look behind us. We have the 33 Arch Bridge of yeah. Esfahan. Siosapol. And we are very lucky because only 20 days a year do we have water here. Yeah, we do, actually. We, we only got 20 days, and you are very lucky to be here with this gorgeous bridge. Siosapol. Siosapol. So what we're doing today, we're going to see the bridge, we're going to see the copper bazaar, we're going to have some porridge, and we're going to see a carpet area, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. We're going to see Persian carpet, and many carpets are from Isfahan as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I had no idea. Nesve Jahan, Isfahan, half of the world. Let's go. Ali, Ali. Yeah, right. I love this bridge, man. I love it. Lots of people on the other side, you see? Oh, wow. And the same thing every day. <laughs> Look at this, people go actually into the water. There's a small area here where you can walk in, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa. That is going really fast, really fast, the water. If you wanna be brave, take off your shoes, walk out there. We still have a lot of things to do tonight, so I'm not gonna risk it. You could easily slip, right? Yeah, it is just 300 meters anyway. You can try it, okay? So you can walk 300 meters and come back. Yeah. So this is it, the 33 Arch Bridge. Gorgeous, must visit. Hopefully you have water when you come. Only 20 days a year. So you have yeah. to be very, very fortunate. <laughs> yeah, lucky person you are here with the flow of water, actually. Amazing, amazing. Nice. No, this is stunning. Okay, guys, let's cross this bridge. Let's see the view from up here. It's such a beautiful place. So you have the park around us, lots of people here. It's already 8 at night, 8 p.m. The sun hasn't set. We're entering summer. If you want to, you can walk on the outside of the bridge on these corridors. You know, the other side is really packed. This side, less people, of course, because the sun is here. So it's a lot harder to see. But this is nice. Super nice here. Dr. Ali John coming. Dr. Ali John, you're coming, you're coming. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing, you see? Zayende root means a river that gives birth to life in Farsi language. And uh, its source is far away from here. Uh, it was the symbol of life. Hey, 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 no more selfies. No more selfies. <laughs> We we're supposed to take like 10 minutes across this bridge. We're taking like 30 minutes because Mr. Chaser, they don't stop stopping him. It's like the whole time they're stopping him. Oh man, <laughs> let's run away. <laughs> this is really wild. This is wild. Yeah. I gotta hide this guy's hair. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, now we're gonna try some porridge. Some porridge, very special porridge from Isfahan. Oh. All right, guys, we made it. Let's get some porridge. Woo! Porridge time. All right, we're going in the back to see them serve us some porridge. And it's right here. Damien, it's for you. That's for me? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's the Fernie porridge. Wow. It's so jiggly. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, the owner uh, was my friend, and me and Trevor came exactly before the corona. And unfortunately, he passed away. So sorry for that. So that's what is that, honey? Um, no, that's uh, grape syrup. Grape syrup. Grape syrup. Yeah. No way. Fig dates and grape syrup. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to try. <laughs> <laughs> For David. For me, this whole yeah. thing. Amazing. Oh my gosh. For you. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is this? Uh, this is pommier. Mmm. Oda. Mmm. Oh, no. Yeah. Mmm. No. <laughs> Cold and sugar mm. syrup. Very similar to elephant ears, just very doughy in the middle. Oh. <laughs> please. Oh. More syrup, yeah. More syrup. Yeah. Make it nice and sweet. Oh, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, so nice cold. Oh, oh man. I like the taste. Mm -hmm. Me too. So what was in there? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> well, in the syrup, it's, yeah. it's fig, um, what was it? Fig, grapes, and one other thing, one other fruit. 
Mmm. Dates and. Oh, dates. Mm hmm. Grip. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm. Best thing is to mix it in, right? Look like that. Oh. oh, yeah. It's not too thick. It's just right. Mm hmm. I like this for dinner. Mm. We need a break from all the meat. Yeah. Mmm. It's definitely the best pork I've ever had. Oh. Mmm. So fluffy. Oh yeah. I'm gonna finish this plate. Some people try this with cinnamon. With cinnamon as well? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure. Very delicious. Yeah. yeah. Really something. And probably some saffron here in Esra. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> probably, probably. Always yeah. saffron. Saffron everywhere. For everything. Yeah. Water? Water? You don't get money again. No. Again and again. No. <laughs> These people are too kind. And what, what is the price though? What would the price be? It shouldn't be that much, but obviously we have the biggest bowl, right? 30, 40 cents. For the one we got? No, no. No, no, for this one. <laughs> for the smaller ones, yeah, yeah. For the small ones, yeah. I'll tell you. Pega, I've never seen somebody get so many selfies. Too much. It's amazing though. Mr. Taster is super humble. He'll give everybody a selfie. Never, never not give anybody a selfie. Dude, you give it, your fans are awesome. You're awesome. Okay, so let's go. What are we doing? David, it's a friendship alley. Friendship it's, alley? Yeah. So when, when two people had, like, they didn't speak to each other or ages ago, when they were coming here, nobody could pass without kissing each other. Oh wow. So, look, imagine me and him, we are not yeah. speaking to each other. Imagine that. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's amazing. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the Copper Bazaar. Let's go, guys. Oh man, the porridge is filling. We got the big one, though. We had like the, the four times bigger XL. Now we are heading for the square and then through the square to the carpet gallery, the copper smith bazaar and then to the bus and then to the hotel. That's and then I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Well, someday. Massage. 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 Oh, yeah. please. Gosh. Yeah. I need one. I need one. Okay. Wow. So this is like another bazaar basically. At 11.30. <laughs> So, the 11.30? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. The sun has set. We're back in the main square. Over here we have Grand Bazaar, Grand Mosque. Look at this. Such a beautiful evening. This is where everybody congregates at night. This is when the city comes to life. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So peaceful. Ali. This is gorgeous. Yeah. The best time to visit this place is early evening and early night actually. And lots of families here just picnicking. They have tea and very small dishes to try the dinner here all together to enjoy the life. So this is the very simple life you can have this moment in the spring season in Iran and Isfahan. Nesbet Alright, let's go. This is the Kabar Bazaar. Yeah, one of the very nice area of the market. You can get around, have a walk, to see different stuff in copper. The cups, plates, trays. This is amazing. Everything in copper. So every single vendor is selling copper. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it's just copper. I love this market. This market is the best market of them all. I mean, seeing the guys making the different copper works, their craftsmanship is phenomenal. So many different things here. You have these beautiful horses, different animals here. The peacocks. Look at this. The day I have my future home, I'm going to get one of these. There's so many beautiful animals here. Let me go inside and let me see this. Hello, hello. Oh, it's incredible. Wow, so many beautiful ones. I love these lions, the leopards, the falcons. They have small animals. They're like really small ones. So you can take one of these home if you want or you can take the bigger ones if you want. Wow, this is epic. Oh, wow, they have like medieval stuff here. Crazy. That's it for the Copper Bazaar. Now let's head out to the Persian carpets. Let's go. That's it, Ali? Yeah. 
Salam, 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 salam. Very good, you. Ali knows everybody here. Hello, hello, David. Pleasure, nice to meet you. Wow, wow, this is amazing. Persian carpet. Can't wait, dude. It's amazing. It's too much. It's too much. Crazy. Look. Show me, show me. Oh wow, that one's beautiful. This is butterfly design. How big is this carpet? This is four meter by two meters. Wow. Incredible. Butterfly. Look, Hamid. Huge. I'm gonna take off my shoes. Oh, I want to fit it correctly. Oh god. All right, I'm gonna sleep right here. Ah. Wow. That's great, man. David, this is our own production. Actually, I have to maybe explain you that this carpet is produced in northwest of Iran, and it's a replica from the 17th century carpet in Metropolitan Museum. So what our foundation do? We are producing the carpet, a modern style of carpet. But what is our philosophy mainly is we are bringing the carpet into the stage of 17th century and we combine with the nowadays coloration that the people they are needed. And we can say that in 17th century in art, we reached to the peak of the art, like in Safavid time. So we have not much news to to say about any term of Persian art, just we are repeating, reproducing, and recoloring. Mm -hmm. So this is amazing that you see the carpet that's mainly, which is our own production, or the killing that we have, they are totally innovated nowadays as well. This is also one of the pieces in silk. Actually, this is, we can say, it's a combination of Persian, wow. old Persian design or Herat design which is famous as the fish tail design, that you can see the tails, as you can see the fish actually, mm -hmm. the tail, with the kind of flower which are famous as an Abbasi flower. This Abbasi flower is representative of one of the artists that we have in 17th century, Reza Abbasi, which we have his museum also in Tehran. A tulip shape or the pomegranate shape of the design that you can see is being uh, repeated here. Wow, I'm blown away. This is amazing. This is Venus, the name of this carpet. Uh, you can see this yellow color is come from asparagus. Uh, the blue color is come from indigo. The red combination of color actually is come from the pomegranate skins, madders, or cochineals. It depends on the type of red that they want to produce in a carpet. This is over 100 years old carpet from the Kurdish tribe of Iran because we have the nomadic carpet as sim geometrical pattern and the city carpet as symmetrical patterns. Look, David, the place that it was, this part of the hand, the hands, the king's hands, that is being repeated in a carpet textile of many centuries in Iran, Caucasia, and Kashmir. This is a combination of the, actually, wool and silk combined with the precious stone from different region of the world and also Iran. It's got about 1,500 knots per pile of this carpet, over 169 knots per each square centimeter. It take about two and a half years to make it. Two and a half years to make this one? Two and a half years to make this one, yeah. So what is the price on this one? Well, this is the estimated price is $300,000. Oh, wow. Uh, but recently me and my brother Ali, we produced a carpet on base of 17th century patterns which is nowadays in Shanghai Museum, uh, it's on the show. And it's made of the string of the gold, which is a polonized yeah. technique, and that is the most expensive carpet yeah. in our collections. Over three and a half million dollars. Yes. Exactly. Wow, incredible. And it's on display. It's on the display in Shanghai uh, Tower, in Shanghai Tower, which is nowadays is on display, yes. <laughs> Oh wow, I love the colors. This is the indigo blue color. It's my favorite color. Fascinating design. No symmetric, no sense of everything is geometrical. 
Wow. Local lines is a modern art actually, this one, but the, the pattern is from 17th century and this, this is a culture too. David, this is our logo, as you see on the business card too. And this is 1399 produced last year. So this is, uh, I can tell you, we are our selling price is about I should check it up. I think it's about $21,000. But of course, we give you a very good discount. $21,000 for this. It took them one year to produce it. That's incredible. Beautiful. I love the indigo. Wow, it feels so good too. So now you guys know, when you come to Ishvan, come here to Carpet Lovers Club. Check out all their incredible carpets. They have some amazing designs from $200 up to $3 million. Just incredible. And yeah, that's it. Let's go. My man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. See you around, see you in the world. See you in Iran again. For sure, for sure. Thank yeah, you, sure. thank you. Next time, next time we go to your factory. Okay, for sure, together. Awesome, awesome. Okay. My man, we did it. Porridge, Copper Bazaar, yeah. carpet, incredible experience. I'm done though, I'm, I'm done. done. To be honest with you, the biggest surprise for me was the bridge. The bridge was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I hope you I'm love this tired. video. In Ishvan, Iran, my boy Mr. Taster, that's it. Tomorrow we're off to Yaz. And you... thanks to Kutuk Travel as well. Always, always. Thank you always. so much. Thank you so much. We had a great time. And uh, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to him, me, and let's go. Good night.